Hello and welcome back to the JW Thoughts channel. My name is Wally and I have made a mistake. Several mistakes that I want to correct in this video. We are actually officially halfway done with the convention, so yeehaw to us. Uh, it's been pretty entertaining so far, so I hope you guys are enjoying those videos and we will get right back to it. But I just did wanted to do a little bit of housekeeping, apology, clarification, because I realized I said something that would have been harmful and hurtful and not supportive. So the idea of the channel is a safe space for people to be able to have a unique and individual opinion that differs from mine or is the same as mine, whatever the case might be, and it just to be a support system. And by something I said, I realized that it was complete opposite of what I go for. So what I'm talking about is in the last video, I talked about sexual repression, and I basically said it wasn't that big of a deal. And that's not what I was trying to get across. That wasn't what I had in my head, but that is what came out of these big, beautiful red lips. No, I don't wear lipstick, people. Nail polish, yes. Lipstick, no. Okay, now that that's out of the way. Um, and I appreciate, I just wanted to say, people that leave comments where they disagree, uh, most people are very lovely when they do disagree, and I think it's important and healthy for a community and for an individual. Like, you shouldn't just surround yourself with people that agree with you. I think that is really just a bad idea in general, because healthy debates and people that disagree with you and that challenge you is really, really good. And here's a perfect example. So I that's why I think I've deleted two comments ever on the channel. I think, yeah, just two. And I've never blocked anyone that I can remember. Even some of the people that were very negative, we actually kind of came to some sort of agreement sometimes through YouTube comments. So it's kind of a wild thing that happens, but I think it is healthy to actually engage with people and not just shut down, erase comments. Like, we were in an organization that refused to hear anything negative about it, right? And if you think about if Watchtower had a YouTube channel, what would it do? It would only have hearted comments of positive replies across the board. That's what a Watchtower like channel would look like in the comment section. So like, if an ex, witness has the same thing it's like wait what is going on here so i'm that's never going to be me that'll never be this channel because people should feel free to disagree with me i am not the governing body i am not a cult leader i'm just a dude with a camera and a microphone that tries to entertain you guys to the best of my ability but anyway uh, i was talking about the sexual repression in my last video and i didn't really account for the fact that there are people that are watching the videos that are going to be going through the worst of the sexual repression. Right as you exit Watchtower, whether you're married, you're single, you're straight, you're whatever, whatever you are, you are going to be dealing with this experience that I personally think is enriching and beautiful of exploring and finding your sexuality. I think that is a really good thing, and I encourage people to do that and just do it in a honest and safe way, obviously. But I, I, what I was trying to get across was the idea that sexual repression can't be used as an excuse for bad behavior, for unsafe, un amoral behavior. So there are people that have a very loud voice within the ex Jehovah's Witness community that have done this, that have basically said that I needed to cheat on my partner. I needed to go to illegal prostitutes in countries that have terrifying statistics around human trafficking and the sex industry. Like, it's more likely to visit a sex worker in these countries that was trafficked than was not trafficked. Like, we're not talking about the Netherlands here. We're talking about 
some of the worst cases in the entire world. But the excuse given for that bad behavior, that net negative on society, was, well, I was sexually repressed as a Jehovah's Witness. So therefore, you know, I'm not proud of what I did. What I did was wrong, but, but, and there needs to not be any conjunction there. The conjunction is where we need to stop because that's not okay. You can't use the sexual repression as a crutch for bad behavior. And I was trying to avoid saying this because I know it's a contentious topic and I'll definitely lose like 250 subscribers as soon as I hit upload on this video just for saying that. It's wild to me that there is a community that says, hey, seeing illegal sex workers might not be the best idea, especially in countries that have horrible statistics with human trafficking. And that is a bad take. So anyway, whatever, I'll just deal with the consequences. But I did want to clarify for the people that do follow the channel, just so you understand, like, I was not intent trying to diminish what you're going through. And I fully understand myself. Like I, I was there, I lived it. I, I was the 25 year old that had never had sex before. It was my wedding night and we didn't even do it. Then it was the honeymoon and it was awkward and terrible and it took months to figure out. And then after all of that, it's like, okay, now out into the real world, I, I've talked about this on other videos on the channel and stuff before, but yeah, I understand, like, it is a rough time, it is a rough go of it, and sometimes, for some people, it can take years and years and years to really find your sexuality and stuff, but I say it's, it can be viewed as a, like, positive in that you're not a Jehovah's Witness anymore, and you now can explore what your sexual self is in a honest and safe way. That is a good thing. It is enjoyable. It's, it's crazy. It's kooky. It's wild. It's fun. And I, I think it's a very positive thing that people go through. And I think my comments were just stupid. I was just being very, very dumb and kind of irresponsible using my platform to say that the sexual repression isn't that big of a deal because I was trying to avoid talking about a particular subject that always lights a fire under people in the community because boy howdy I don't even know but anyway so my 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 real take on the issue is this Sexual repression is not an excuse for bad behavior. It's not an excuse for cheating. And there, I don't think that there's a scenario where you can say, because I was a Jehovah's Witness, I needed, like, I needed to cheat on my partner. That is such a load of horseradish. I can't even get my head around that. That is not, that is not a real thing. That's not normal. What we need to normalize as we grow out of our Jehovah's Witness thinking, we need to normalize normal, not normalize the abnormal, right? So we, we can't be saying, well, this is necessary. When you, when you become an ex-Jehovah's Witness, it's necessary. You need to. No, that is, that is hurtful behavior to people. That, that is not okay. So uh, honest and safety, I guess, would be the big takeaways there. So anyway, I hope that clarifies things slightly, and I do just want to say a big, I'm sorry, I'm a dummy, I'm a bozo, I mess up, I messed up, and I'm sorry that I used, like, my platform in a way that no doubt hurt a lot of people, because they are experiencing the confusion and frustration that's associated with leaving whatever your circumstances are some people are having to leave their husband or their wife and you know they're having to go get into the dating scene for the first time and it's it's hard and difficult and confusing and me standing here because in from my experience or my perspective like well I just you know I left and I, everything was great for me is really irresponsible and stupid 
And yeah, I just was having a brain dead moment there. So sorry about that, guys. I I try and correct my mistakes. So there's there's one for you. Uh, there was another one since we're doing confession Wally video uh, and trying to do as little editing as possible. Uh, I did also minimalize how difficult it is to care for elderly parents in uh, the last video as well. I had a real banger, I guess, in this last one. But yeah, I think I downplayed the seriousness and how hard it was. And one of my friends, and uh, he'll also have a uh, interview on the channel here uh, pretty soon, um, made a comment that really kind of woke me up to the idea about how he had uh, been, or him and his partner had been caring for uh, his elderly parents and went on for like 15 years. And he said, and he has raised uh, children, said it was harder than raising kids. And that kind of like, was like, wow, why, why did I downplay it in such a way? So that was also uh, in bad taste as well. So sorry about that. I wasn't trying to minimalize the difficulty of it. Um, I guess I was just in my stupid, trying to be positive brain, trying to focus on the positive nature of giving back to your parents that cared for you. And I was focusing too much on that, but I probably should have at least acknowledged some of the aspects of the difficulty of the situation. Um, is there anything else? Oh yeah, there was one other one uh, that kind of popped up a little bit and that was about my talking about the HR and going to human resources in the, in the last drama video we watched. Uh, I wasn't saying that you should go to HR like if someone asked you to lunch. Uh, that would, that seems to be a little bit too far ridiculous, but as far as the drama was presented, it was showing a situation where this doctor was contacting her repeatedly, presumably for a while, uh, so much so that even her stepsister was like, well, he's really texting you a lot, like to the point where her phone goes off. She's like, I wonder who that is. So I'm guessing it was a, unwanted, and B, persistent and going on for some time. So I guess under those circumstances, and ex especially because when she was talking with her dad, her fear was she was nervous about refusing his advances and that meaning she might lose her job. So we didn't get more details. This is a fictitious thing anyway, but we didn't get more details about the situation other than it had gone on for a long time. It wasn't just like, hey, do you want to go get lunch? He was texting her. She didn't want anything to do with him. She didn't want any of his advances. And she was nervous for her job for saying no. So that is why in those circumstances, I, th I think it's appropriate to go to the HR department because... It, it, that's why it exists. If you go to the person themselves, well, you're scared of saying no for losing your job. So you don't want to go, you don't want to lose your job. So it's not like as simple, I guess, as we'll just man up or woman up or put your big boy panties on and go and just have the conversation with them. Well, if you are not responding or not reciprocating any of the interest and it continues, and the power dynamic exists of you being scared for losing your job. That's what I was referring to. But I did notice uh, a comment where people or someone had said that it's like the equivalent of going to the elders. So I hope that clarifies the what kind of was going on with that whole situation. Because um, I don't think it's like going to the elders and it. Uh, I, I think this person also said it would ruin someone's life. I, I think in that instance, it wouldn't necessarily ruin this doctor's life if, you know, he was doing something that was inappropriate, if he was this fictitious person that doesn't actually exist, if it was doing something that was inappropriate that made someone comfortable and they were thinking, oh, I might lose my job if I say no, I don't know who to talk to. I don't know what to do about the situation, so I'm doing nothing, And but the problem's not going away. That is exactly why human resources exists in the first place, to help you deal with situations like that in a safe, effective way. And I don't think that the 
by her going to the HR department, the guy's career and life is going to be ruined. I don't think he's going to be labeled as some sort of sexual predator or anything like that. But I do understand if if you were thinking the situation is, hey, he just asked her to lunch one time and he she should go to the HR department because of getting asked to lunch one time, that would be kind of weird. That is that that's that's probably a little bit extreme in in that instance. So I do agree if that was the situation, that would be a bad bad advice to just go right to the HR and it might actually kind of sort of be akin to the elders, but I try and to the best of my ability avoid the well, that's just like the elders. Well, that you're just acting like the governing body. You're just acting like the elders because we don't live that life anymore. So we don't have to make those comparisons all the time. And I think when people make those comparisons, it might be time to try and break away from that Jehovah's Witness m mindset or thinking and comparing everything to to what it, to the elders, I guess. I, I don't know. Maybe that's a dumb take as well, but who really knows? But yeah, hopefully that clarifies that uh, situation as well. So yeah, if you guys like these videos where I respond to comments that are negative and either acknowledge it or offer my counterpoints or clarification, let me know. Maybe it could be like a, a weekly segment. Uh, what would we call it? Wally's weird wacky, uh, Wally-licious, waxing, wonderful, no, this isn't working with W's, we need something else. If you have a, if you have a good name for this segment, uh, I'm too tired to think of it, so let me know down in the comments below if you guys like this segment, or if you think it's trash, I won't do it anymore, but I think it could be fairly good for the community in general, that way maybe you guys can see uh, my thought processes on certain things because sometimes I am just trolling sometimes I am serious sometimes I think I'm right sometimes I think I'm being a bozo and I need to slap myself in the face and say okay you can't be talking like that bucko but anyway with all of that being said I hope you guys enjoyed podcast style Wally and if you didn't well you're probably not here anymore but if you are don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for the content like this is no being said stay safe be kind, and don't forget to smile.